Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have this iPhone 11 Pro Max and the problem on it is the screen it's broken and it's not responding. So in this video I will show you how to replace this screen. Alright, so to replace the screen on this phone we will need some tools. But before that we will need a screen by the way. So we need to order the screen. You can order it online or you may have it somewhere in the what do you call them in the local stores then we will need some tools when you order the screen if you don't have the tools you need to order the tools with the screen and they may give them to you for free or maybe for a couple dollars more all right so the first uh, screwdriver that we're gonna need we will need a tripoint and uh, not tripe this is a pentalo screwdriver a tripoint screwdriver a phillips screwdriver a nice semi and maybe a tweezers and i think that's all what we will need all right so let's put these tools aside and let's start the first thing we're going to do we're going to open these two screws here in the bottom sorry i'm doing it this i'm doing this quick because i have someone waiting for it uh, it's better turn off the phone before you start this repair but mine it's not uh, it's freezing it's not responding so i have to open it so i take the two screws in the bottom here i put them here then i will use this ic semi and they will go here behind or between the, the LCD and the frame open it answer this one like this then lift it up or pray up gently then release this side here and we do the same thing on the other side then once we release the both sides I will just open the screen like I'm opening a book then here I will have this bracket it has many screws on it so I will open the screws don't worry about the screws all of them are the same So this is the second one, third one, fourth and fifth. So the screws on these brackets are the same so you don't have to worry about mixing them up right but if you are taking the phone apart for uh, other reason make sure you organize your work. Oh we have six screws, the sixth screw is right here. Alright so take this bracket put it here next to its screws then we have here the bracket for the battery it has two screws one and they are different from the other ones I think so this bracket has two screws then we're gonna put the bracket next to uh, the screws so then I will disconnect the battery from here and then I will disconnect the LCD cables this is one and this is two and this is three the three it was here all right so now on this new screen i'm going to just transfer this uh this cable here with the components on it this is the earpiece and whatever uh, around it and i will transfer it here it has uh three screws one and i'm still using the tripoint screwdriver so in this case i think i'm not gonna need uh, the phillips screwdriver so we have these three screws they are not the same so they are different so make sure you put every screw back to its original this is the third screw and then i will just open this and then i have small components inside here this is the microphone and this is the proximity sensor and this one i think is for the proximity sensor as well no this is for something else no yeah this is another proximity sensor piece all right so i lift them up gently then i release this one and they will as you see this screen doesn't have the gasket the plastic gasket so i already have one here i put it this way here all right so now i make sure this two uh the, this uh, sensor proximity sensors are inside the squares here and the microphone is in uh, is connected to its spot and now i will flip this this way okay then i will uh, put the screws we have the first screw here
All right, so this is the first one. Second one. And the smallest one will go here to this corner. This screw here always gives me a hard time. So I'm just gonna try to make sure it's aligned. And that's it. All right, so now let's put the screen, the old screen outside there. Then I will connect this cable. We have three cables here, right? So we're gonna connect. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna connect this one first. Make sure the cables are connected very well. Make sure you match them with their uh, with their connection on the motherboard then just snap them they will they will connect normal the, and then the last thing I connect the battery cable and they will put this bracket here Then I put this bracket here and they will put the six screws. All right, so this is the last screw. Then I will make sure because this this thing for the warranty, it's here. I'm just gonna cut, cut it to make sure it's not gonna show here. Then we will just connect the top part first. Make sure there is no gap here, and hold it. Then release the screen like this, and then make sure that the screen is all the way in. Yeah. All right. So once I put the screen here, I make sure it's uh, it's perfectly uh, fitted in the chassis. Then I will put the last two screws. How many screens do you do a day? So I put these two screws here. All right. So that's it. So now let's turn on the phone and see if it's working. When you push this button here, it may scare you if it doesn't turn on quick because you need to keep holding this button for five seconds. I think everything is fine. The phone is working normal. So let's see. It may take like 30 seconds up to one minute to turn on. I don't know why it reboots. If it keeps showing you the Apple logo on the rebooting, that means you need to disconnect the battery and reconnect it one more time. All right, I think that's what it is. All right, guys, so it turns on after it reboots like a uh, couple times. I don't know why. Anyway, so uh, it's ready and uh, it's responding normal. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, share this video with friends and subscribe for more. Okay, have a, good, have a wonderful time. Peace.